Hey friends, I'm Shaptarshi. I just completed my master's in chemistry from IIT Kanpur. And in this video series for IIT JAM exam, I wanted to cover all the different types of numerical problems that come for physical chemistry. And by doing those problems, I'll be explaining the concepts as well. In physical chemistry IIT JAM, 90% of your questions will be numerical based. So it's very important. And just like this video, I'll be making similar videos on different physical chemistry topics as well. So with that, let's get started with this one. Video will look at some very important numericals for our adsorption and surface chemistry. So as I've said that uh, numericals are the heart of physical chemistry and most of your questions will be based on it. So this is our first question. I've already said the most important concept of surface chemistry in the previous video. You can check it out if you want. And uh, with that, we will start with this video. So first of all, when you get a question, read every line and try to see what it means. So when someone sees such a big question, they automatically think they cannot do it. No, it's not that. Sometimes all the information is given. Okay, so you just need to process what's written, understand it and pro proceed with that. So it says for adsorption of CO on charcoal at 300 Kelvin, the volume of CO at NTP needed to form monolayer on certain amount of charcoal is 100 centimeter cube. The fractions of the surface covered at 0.5 atmosphere and 2 atmosphere pressure are respectively 0.286 and 0.615. Find the adsorption equilibrium constant. What volume of CO measured at NTP is adsorbed by the same amount of charcoal at 4 atmosphere pressure? Okay. So let so from this statement, when we are reading the fractions of the surface covered at uh, 0.5 atmosphere and 2 atmosphere pressures are respectively 0.286 and 0.615. So it is said, let us take this as theta 1. So theta 1 is equals to first fraction is 0.286, theta 2 is equals to 0.615. Write down what it, write down the new, uh, written numerical question in a mathematical form things will get much more simplified and this is the fraction the first pressure that is given is 0 0.5 atmosphere and the second pressure that is given is our 2 atmosphere right so by this we already get to know what the form we need to use is our Langmuir adsorption isotherm right theta equals to kp 1 plus kp okay and so what they're asking for it find the adsorption equilibrium constant so that is our k simple as k k is our adsorption equilibrium constant so if we want to find k what we need to do we need to make k our subject and if we do that k is equals to theta p 1 by theta i'm not writing every step you guys can do it Right. If you guys also, I should have said this before, you guys want, you can just pause the video, try to do it on your own and see whether it's matching or not. That will be also a good test for you guys. If you want to do it, if you're not prepared, it's fine. You can uh, follow this video. So we'll simply put all our values. In the first case that we have theta 1 P1, we will put K equals to our theta, which is uh, 0 0.286 divided by our P, which is what is P? It is 0 0.5 and uh, P1 minus theta. Okay. So over here we have two of our, uh, we have two cases. I don't know why they have given two cases exactly, but they have given. Sometimes this is a trick given by the examiners that sometimes they purposely. Uh, give more information to confuse the students sometimes it's not needed only so if we solve this we get a value of around uh, 0 0.8 okay and in the second case also if you do the second case i'll just put this a bit down uh, if we do our second case also we'll get k equals to your 0 0.615 and uh, your two atmosphere that it was over here so just rubbing this two one minus 0 0.615 over here also the value you get is around eight so it proves that k remains constant for the particular process the absorption uh, constant right 
now but the question does not end here right there is a, a lot more to this question ah. so over here they have also told us after finding this absorption equilibrium constant what volume of co measured at ntp is absorbed by the same amount of charcoal so see the term they have used volume this is a catch the volume of co measured at ntp is absorbed by the same amount of charcoal at four atmospheres so they have given the particular pressure they've given the volume now you have to, need to change the form i have told you this in the previous video that theta i'll just make a column over here and use a different color that our theta can also be expressed as v by vm where v is the volume absorbed by the absorbed date on the absorbent and vm is the maximum volume in case of unimolecular layer or a mono layer and what is this uh, first sentence at 300 kelvin the volume of co at ntp to form mono layer on certain amount of charcoal is 100 centimeter cube it means what needed to form mono layer on certain amount of charcoal is 100 centimeter cube so our v we do not know we need to find vm is given this is 100 centimeter cube we know k which is revealed will remain constant right and now we can do it wow so what we need to find is our v and how will we do it it is as simple as theta equals to v by v m equals to k p 1 plus k p we know k we know p we know v m we only don't know v so v by 100 centimeter cube equals to k so what is uh, k we found k is 8 0 0.8 right and uh, pressure is given as 4 atmosphere pressure and 1 plus 0 0.8 into 4 okay so and if you do this you will get it around 0 0.762 you know i'll tell you a trick you guys know this trick if you for forget the formula anytime you forget the formula always check the dimensions you put the units all around it and you check the dimensions if you know the formula it's fine because putting uh, units every time in competitive exams might be a bit taxing but you always put the uh, unit units and check with the dimensions are matching or not because you know the formula of uh, theta you already know so that is no big deal like you can eliminate other options if there are with the different units uh, right but if you have forgotten the formula that's a good uh, way of uh, you know getting back to the basics okay so i hope you guys understood this uh, form okay if you want it's a video form so you guys can uh, maybe uh, take your time and understand it but it was easy and if you don't know this form you are saying like Bhaiya, how did this form come i have told in this in the previous video when we discussed the basic concepts the most important concepts i have talked about the different forms you need to know the different forms of an equation that can be right otherwise it will be tough for you in the exam okay now we come to the second question and i'm struggling with this getting ah i got it thank you so be a bit patient with me and uh, so over here now we have so by looking at it log x m m log p you get okay it's friendly but 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 read the question carefully it says graph between log x m and log p that's given and here x m is a uh, straight line and angle 45 degree with intercept o a so angle is given we can find the slope and the intercept is given that is the we already have it hence x by m at pressure 0 0.2 atmosphere so this looks simple but let us do it so i already have told you that x by m equals to kp 1 by n for the friend loic absorption isotherm and this can also be expressed in a different form which i've already talked about in the previous video of log x by m equals to 1 by n log p plus log of k and uh, if you know this one form only you can come to this form but you know in exam it's very tough uh, if you don't know like what's gi given this i don't know i haven't ever seen it so that will be very tough for you so log x by m by m we see in the graph it, this is y log p is our x this is 1 by m is our m which is a slope and log k is our intercept so uh, okay then so we need to uh, find hence x by m we need to find x by m so x by m we do not know so what is the slope in a straight line if you i hope you guys know this that the slope is tan theta in a straight line slope is always given by tan theta so m equals to 1 by n equals to tan theta equals to tan of 
45 degrees which is equals to 1 right 10 45 is 1 right so we got 1 by n we have the value of log p also which is our uh, do, we, do we have the value of log p so the at pressure 0 0.2 atmosphere so yes we do have the value of log p as well and log k so and the intercept is given so we know k as well right now so it becomes so easy right when you know it uh, we know the form before and things become much easier so log x by m is equals to uh, n is 1 in your log p that is 1 log of your 0 0.2 atmosphere plus your log of k and what is k the intercept o is shown it is 0 0.3 right your yep it is 0. Point. so the intercept is given okay okay i was making a mistake over here thank god i corrected it is that uh, your uh, this whole intercept is 0. 0.3 the k is not 0. 0.3 so the this whole log k this is 0. 0.3 0, 0.1 so i'll just take a rubber and okay 0 0.301 okay so that is the main thing and from this you guys can you guys have the calculator also can calculate and find what is x by m right uh, please guys uh, have some mock practices with your uh, virtual calculator it is very important some people panic in the exam and they don't uh, cannot use it so x by m will come to 0 0.4 right so that is it and we have one more uh, uh, our uh, problem that is related to Gibbs adsorption isotherm. Okay, I have not written the question. I'll just write the question down quickly. The question says that the slope of gamma versus ln c is equals to minus 10 milli newton by meter. Find surface excess. So this blue color is a bit uh, light. So I hope it doesn't affect someone's eyes and uh, I'll use maybe different color from next time. So this gamma as we, so guys, I, again, I have in the previous video, I have told about this concept of Gibbs adsorption isotherm, the factors affecting it in a very good way. In one whole video, it will become very long for you guys to watch. I know how you guys see YouTube videos. So I have told that the formula for Gibbs adsorption isotherm is the surface excess minus equals to minus one by RT and your d gamma d l n c 2 t where you have your surface excess you have your this gamma is your surface tension the c is the concentration of solute and so let's see what the question have said you know what is rt and t right so let's see what the question have said it is said that the slope of gamma versus l n c is your minus 10 milli newton uh, by meter right so and we need to find our surface excess right so this d gamma by d l n c2 that is the slope right that value is already given we don't need to do anything we all only need to write minus 1 by r t and uh, over here we just need to replace that uh, value so this we can also write as if you are writing as like in uh, newton per meter right in this formula c so many people do not know this uh, what you say unit of surface excess what is it so it in these cases is better that you write the and when you're using r when you're using r always write the units because don't mess up the units so you can write minus 10 milli newton uh, per meter as your uh, so there's a minus sign over here and uh, this will be 0 0.01 right if i'm writing in newton per meter uh, newton per meter so one two three yeah so that is it huh. so that is right and this will be minus minus 0 0.1 newton per meter and let me write the other forms as well so minus minus will become plus so plus 0 0.01 newton per meter divided by r r is your 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin into 298 kelvin so 298 kelvin was given over here i didn't write it that it was at 298 kelvin 
R value you need to take and depending on the R value you will get the value of sur surface excess. So and depending on what the units that the question is asking you need to choose your R value. Okay, Know all the R values. Uh, the one that is 8.314.0.0821.1.987 and, uh, and their corresponding units. So you will just see the formula is cutting over here and uh, so ultimately what you will get over here if you do it uh, is I am not doing the every step so I am just showing you 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 moles per meter so that is the surface excess right uh, amount of solute that is in excess and per surface unit area mole per meter square you will get and uh, so this is very simple joule is actually equals to your newton into meter right in that formula range you just put that and you get you get the uh, mole per meter square form so guys that was it and there is no use of doing similar problems a lot of times but try to understand what's going on in the problem what is being asked how it can be so I cannot predict all types of uh, like uh, some new kind of problems like I'm not a prophet or something but these are the main kind of types that uh, that are asked that will be asked and that should be asked right and this will definitely help you in your exam without doing numericals friends uh, things will become uh, almost impossible to crack IIT jam so with that I will uh, take your leave and with in the next video I will come up with some new topic of physical chemistry explain their concepts and also do the numericals which will be very helpful for you guys.